In this video, I'll be covering entering data using monthly data entry forms. I've already logged into WIMS and I have my dashboard pulled up. I have a shortcut to my operator log monthly data entry form. I can also get to that form through the menu. In this case, I'll just use my shortcut on my dashboard and it's going to load up this form for the current month, which is May 2016. I've got columns of data, that's how monthly data entry works for each of my variables. So here I see my variable for flow, for pH, and it's displaying a month of data with some summary statistics at the bottom. To enter data, I simply click on the cell, just like I would in a spreadsheet, and type in my data point. If I go to pH, and I type in my pH today of, let's say, 8.5, it comes up and it warns me this is outside of the range. We've defined this as the normal range for pH on my influent. If I click yes, it's going to accept that. It's going to turn it italic and it's going to turn that cell green, indicating that it's outside the normal range. This is not a regulatory violation. It's just warning you that that data is not normal. I can, I'm going to go to chlorine residual now. and I'm going to enter in a value of 1.12. What it tells me there is that it is a daily violation because we've set up our regulatory limit of 1.1. So we're in violation if we're greater than 1.1. Again, if I say yes to accept it, it puts it in and it shades it in this light yellow color. If I type a number that's outside of both ranges, in this case 1.32, it's going to come up and say it's outside of the range and is a daily violation. And again, if I accept it, it becomes this uh, light orange background color. There's a couple other things you need to see on this form that's interesting. One is the color, the foreground color indicates the data approval status. So in this case, this number that I just entered, 3.22, if you look on the status bar, it says that that data is entered. Data approval has been set up on that parameter, and since I have the rights, I can simply click and say I want to approve that data. The data becomes black in this case, indicating that, that now that data is at final approval level. I may also want to indicate what's going on with um, my violation here. So if I click on a cell, I can right click and get a menu of options. And in this case, I'm going to go to result comment. And uh, I'm going to make a comment that our uh, chlorine is high uh, due to overfeeding. <laughs> so I can make a comment on the data and it'll put a red dot in the corner. If I just click on that cell down again on my status bar it's going to tell me so I don't have to right click again to read that result comment. I also have my daily comments which are my logbook entries. I can simply double click on that to bring up that data. So this set tells me what's going on maybe at an operational level or however you're using your logbooks. The other thing that we can do in monthly data entry is use it as a data browser. So if I just want to quickly look at last month, I have this date control. I go ahead and click that and I go back to April and I see all the data that I've entered in April. If I want to go and get a different time range, I can also do that. So if I go to common dates, I can say, well, I want to look at data year to date and click OK. And now I have multiple months of data in my data entry form. This is all there is to monthly data entry, the basics. In other videos, we'll take you through some advanced troubleshooting using monthly data entry. Thank you.